Okay, in this lecture, it's going to be all about note input. So here, we have input devices. You can actually find new MIDI devices if it's plugged in. It'll show. Uh, it'll bring up preferences, which also brings up keyboard shortcuts. You can create your own keyboard shortcuts. I could show you how to do that. Um, color accessibility, color notes, uh, note out of range, uh, item in the system, note for voice, uh, note color for voice one, voice one, note color for voice two, uh, note color for voice three and voice four, and so on. Uh, note professional range would be dark red note out of range would be brighter red and item collision would also be red but it wouldn't be notes or it could be notes but it could be also uh, staffs and dynamics and articulations and that kind of thing and then item in the system is just black and these are all different presets you can use for accessibility then there's display. You can actually make this the translucency different. You can do custom view options. Uh, panorama view. That's where you see all the score measure one through the end and it's not just separate pages. So that is that. Files, opening files. This is where you can actually set your your um, preferences for paper types, for paper sizes, for how you're going to open the scores, uh, how you're going to save the scores, all of that. So that would be here for sizing the files. Font equivalents. Now here you can choose um, any font that you pretty much want. Any font set. Or you can add a font if you don't already have it. This is ideas. Sometimes it's useful to capture an idea when you have a, like, a brief moment that really inspires you. You can capture the idea. This allows you to uh, select what the capture idea function is supposed to do. Input devices, and then sh keyboard shortcuts. You can always um, uh, it make it breaks it up by tab. So some of these will have key commands in them. Some of them won't. And you can always create your own uh, copy set, your own feature set of keyboard shortcuts. You can always edit the current feature set of shortcuts too. And you can delete shortcuts. Um, language. This is just the application language, which is English. You would select yours if you were in a different territory. Uh, mouse. This just basically tells the mouse what to do. Uh, here's your music fonts. All of these. Load input options. Paste as Q. Now this is um, if you have a part. Let's say you have an orchestra or band and you don't have a particular instrument but you have one instrument that plays the Q part which basically is the substitute instrument for the part that you don't have. You can actually tell it to ha tell it how to paste, what to paste, and how to write it and how to play it as a cue. This is playback preferences. This is all saving and exporting. You could all set that up. Score positioning, step time and flex time rhythm, 
That's for if you record straight from the keyboard into the uh, software, or you, step time is where you just do uh, click a note on the keyboard, click whatever the coordinate symbol would be on your other computer keyboard, and it would give you uh, the note that you want. This is text, textures, timelines, versions, creating versions of scores, word menus, and then what their symbols look like, and here's all the other stuff. So that is basically the preferences window. So yeah, all of this is important for if you intend to use Sibelius in the long term. It's just ha showing you how to put it all together. All right, in the next um, video, we will be talking about uh, the note input function, which is input notes here, how you use the keypad, how you can program keyboard shortcuts to, to use the keypad to put notes in the score. All right, so I'll see you in that video.